the world of electricity generation and transmission is a complicated one, and it can be difficult to make decisions that affect that industry without working in it every day. And that's why a group of South Dakota lawmakers is here at Basin Electric to learn from some experts and also get a tour of the North Dakota Energy Trail. What can we do to influence the public's perception, uh, not only our own congressman and senator, Charlie Hoffman is a representative from Eureka, South Dakota, one of about a dozen lawmakers taking the South Dakota Rural Electric Association up on a co-op tour. Once they visited the cooperatives in their area, they travel to Basin Electric headquarters. They hear from CEO and General Manager Ron Harper, and then from marketing, transmission, renewables, and government relations. And any time that anybody is willing to spend the time to educate them so that they can make better decisions as legislators, they're very appreciative of that. Ed Anderson is general manager at the South Dakota Rural Electric Association. He says this tour has been a success for 10 years. To gain an understanding of the complexity of the process, um, everything that's involved to get it from the mind mouth to the meter, and the investment that's required to accomplish that, the lawmakers board a bus to tour a power plant, a gasification plant, and a coal mine. But on my bucket list was going to a coal mine. This is Hoffman's first co-op tour. When Ed Anderson called me the other day, I was just ecstatic. You ask him, I bet I sounded like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I bet I did. The tour is fun, but it also teaches the lawmakers in a way they wouldn't get otherwise. Unless you really get out and find out the, all the grassroots of it, uh, you, you're here, you can look at it, you can look at the brochures, but you really don't understand the impact and, and how it totally works. Lance Carson is a representative from Mitchell. He says lawmakers like himself need to get out and learn to make the right decisions. We need to get a, the education so we can have the background so we can make intelligent decisions on how, which way it should be and how it should be. You're not gonna pick, you're not gonna pick that kind of things up overnight. The Crow Lake Wind Project is in Carson's district. I heard a number this morning that uh, I will take with me and use down the road is that 50% of the cost of a kilowatt is based on the transmission line. It's not, you know, that that is, uh, I don't think a lot of people understand that. I understood the local uh, co-ops. I understand how those lines get built because I see them every day and I deal with those people. But I never, I never understood and I have a much greater appreciation for what these people have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis, dealing with other power companies, dealing with building. Uh, and, and that to me is amazing. Then we pump that water right back to the boiler again and start the whole process over. Ed Anderson says co-ops have invested more than $900 million into South Dakota. And I think that they come away with a far greater appreciation for what co-ops do for South Dakota and for their members and for the economy of the state as a whole. When Ed Anderson calls me anytime, if I'm not at my phone, I call him right back because what Ed Anderson does to me is very important. I listen to what Ed Anderson says. He will never steer me wrong. A trip through Antelope Valley Station's model room and then through the power plant. So these guys normally work four days a week, then five days a week. Uh, Makes an impression. Our right, staff's here at 600 feet tall. Seeing yeah. is understanding. Wow. Holy and understanding generates an energy of its own. It takes uh, three to four scoops to fill up our 240 ton haul trucks. On the South Dakota Lawmakers Tour with producer Karen Will, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.